we have been exploring certain dive sites on a massive coral reef complex in the northeast corner of South Africa. So Duana Bay, which also happens to be located within the first UNESCO World Heritage Site in South Africa, the Isimengaliso Wetland Park. Here we have got so many places to dive that even if you stay here for a couple of months, you will only get a glimpse of it. Today I'm going to take you to a place that is more sand than coral, and believe it or not, it's full of thriving life. Stringer Dive Site is an outcrop of a reef surrounded by ocean sand, and very shallow indeed, only 10 meters deep. Since it's located only a couple hundred meters from shore, you usually experience a strong swell at the bottom. First and foremost, this is the favorite place for giant honeycomb moray eels, growing even up to 2 meters. For the most part, you see them inside potholes, getting a clean from the shrimps. But I have also had some amazing encounters with them, swimming out in the open. You can see where they get their name from. The skin has a pattern very closely resembling peace honeycomb. Even the colors match. While in 99% of encounters these fish are very docile and allow for approaching very close, it's not all roses though. Once I had a very unpleasant face-off. While I was filming two more eels under a ledge, not doing anything that would be a no-go, shoot like many others, one of them suddenly decided to get rid of me. Caught completely off guard, I had to make a run for it. Since then I am much more cautious with them, even when they seem completely ignorant of my presence. Stringer is also inhabited by a couple of very friendly potato bass that like to come very close to divers. They can behave so lethargic that sometimes it looks like they are really bored with the surroundings. If two species of big reef fish live in the same area, there is bound to be some interesting interaction between them. Not exactly sure why this bass would get so close to the moray, but for a moment, this situation looked like a tense standoff. Obviously, the moray was less interested in taking it further and gracefully swam away, leaving us divers in awe of what we saw. As I mentioned in the beginning, you can find some great small creatures in various holes in the sandstone base of this small reef. One of them is a shy mantis shrimp, known as a vicious hunter, and its elaborate visual systems capable of perceiving many more wavelengths of light than a human eye. Later on, if you have a good eye, you can spot what we call paperfish. Colorful fish that occupy a small patch of reef for the most part of their lives. They are clumsy swimmers and rather lie in wait for passing prey. You get to see them in many different colors as they adapt to their surroundings by shedding the skin and are capable of changing colors that way. This reef is a kingdom for rays. With so much sand, bottom-dwelling rays love to hang around. They are big honeycomb rays, as well as smaller sharp-nosed stingrays.
This weird looking one is an electric ray, capable of producing an electric discharge of up to 220 volt for defense or to stun prey. Most of the time they are completely buried under the sand, so you really need to watch out when diving here. Finally, this is the place where I had one of my most amazing sightings in the entire ocean. A school of hundreds of small devil rays, like an endless flock of birds, passed by near the reef. They were very quick and it was hard for me to keep up with them, but that was a one in a million sighting.